Hey guys, and welcome to my guide today on setting up a VPN on your Fire Stick. So, have you ever tried streaming your favorite shows on Netflix or Hulu only to find out they're not available in your region? That can be pretty limiting, but here's the cool part. Adding a VPN to your Fire Stick can unlock all sorts of content from around the world, whether it's friends on Netflix UK or exclusive services like Disney Hotstar in India. Now, not only does a VPN make streaming super easy, but it's also a great way to keep your online activity secure. And in this video, I'll walk you through exactly how to set up a VPN on your Fire Stick, plus share my top picks, ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark to help you choose the best one for you. And just a reminder, if you want to get started with any of these VPNs, I've included links in the description with the best coupons or discount codes to help you get the best deal possible. So let's start with compatibility, because you'll want to make sure your Fire Stick can actually run a VPN. The good news is that all major VPNs like ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark work seamlessly across all Fire TV versions. So whether you've got a Fire TV Cube or a standard Fire TV, you're covered. However, if you're using a Fire TV Stick, you'll need to have at least a second generation model or newer, as the older ones don't support VPN apps. And for most of you guys, that's probably not an issue since the second generation and later models are the most common ones out there. Now let's get into how you actually set up a VPN on your Fire Stick. And it's really straightforward. First, head to the Fire Stick App Store and search for your VPN app, like Express, Nord, or Surfshark. Once you find it, download and install the app, just like you would any other app. After that, open the app and log in with your VPN credentials. Some apps, like ExpressVPN, even let you scan a QR code for a super quick login. But you can always enter your details manually if you prefer. Once you're logged in, it's as simple as turning on the VPN and picking a server. For example, if you want to watch American Netflix or Hulu, just connect to a US server. And that's it. You're ready to start streaming. So if you'd like to follow along and set this up yourself, feel free to check the links in the description. They'll take you straight to the VPN websites with a nice discount applied. And here's where it gets really exciting. Using a VPN to access all sorts of streaming content. With a VPN on your Fire Stick, you can connect to specific servers to unlock region-based libraries. For example, connecting to a US server gives you access to American Netflix or Hulu, while a UK server lets you watch Friends on Netflix UK. And for something totally unique, you can connect to an Indian server to stream Disney Hotstar, which isn't available in most regions. So whether you're after a specific show or just want to explore new streaming options, a VPN makes it super easy to switch regions and enjoy content from anywhere in the world. And the best part, you're doing it all securely, so your online activity stays private. Now let's talk about actually using using the VPN app on your Fire Stick because these apps are designed to be super user friendly. The interface is really clean with a simple on off button to connect or disconnect plus an easy menu to pick your server. For example, you can quickly choose a US server for Hulu or a UK server for BBC iPlayer and it's just a couple of clicks. And here's a huge plus. You can tweak a few key settings to make your experience even better. For instance, turning on features like Threat Manager on Express, Blocks Trackers, Ads, and Malicious Sites which is great for keeping your streaming safe and smooth. I'd also recommend setting the protocol to automatic or lightweight for ExpressVPN as these give you the fastest speeds. Features like network protection and split tunneling are available too, but for most of you guys, the default settings work just fine and make streaming a breeze. So now that you know how to set up and use a VPN, let's talk about picking the best one for your Fire Stick. I've tested ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark, and each one's a solid choice, but they shine in different areas. First up, ExpressVPN VPN is perfect if you want simplicity and reliability. It covers 105 countries, so you've got tons of server options for streaming. And it's super secure with more than 20 independent audits to back it up, which is more than any other VPN I've seen. Speed-wise, it's really solid, with just an 18% average speed loss using their lightweight protocol, making it great for streaming in 4K. Next, NordVPN is the choice if you want the largest network. It covers 165 countries and comes with cool tools like NordWhisper, which helps bypass censorship and Threat Protection Pro for blocking ads and trackers. And here's the cool part. NordVPN is the fastest of the bunch, with only a 3% average speed loss using their NordLynx protocol, so it's a huge plus for streaming or gaming. Gaming. Finally, Surfshark is the way to go if you're on a budget or want to share with multiple devices. It covers 100 countries and lets you connect unlimited devices on a single subscription, which is a big advantage. Plus, their Everlink tech keeps servers stable, 
and you get a full set of premium features at a lower cost. Speedwise, even though it's not as quick as Express or Nord, it's still very quick, so streaming is smooth and reliable. And just as a reminder, if any of these sound like the right fit for you, I've got links in the description with the best discount codes to help you get started with Express, Nord, or Surfshark at a lower price. So hopefully you found this guide helpful for setting up a VPN on your Fire Stick. Whether you're unlocking new streaming libraries or just keeping your online activity secure, Express, Nord, Nord and Surfshark are all excellent choices. And again, if you're ready to try any of these out, be sure to check the links in the description for the best coupons or discount codes, plus detailed reviews for more info. If you've got any questions or need help picking the right VPN, please leave a comment below as I love getting to answer as many of those as I can. And if you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Thanks so much for watching and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.